Because uh, I think I think it was Polygon, and I've got actually. I'm looking it up right now. I've got I've got a lot of beef to settle with Polygon. Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Other factions. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, let's like let's just slide into this topic like very very, very gently here. Yeah. I feel like a lot of um, I've been reading lately a lot of articles. I think from a lot of sources, but the two and now possibly three since <laughs> Ben's yeah. interjection here are actually going to be based on these Polygon articles that I've read. And I feel like I'm reading things that objectively just, like, don't make any sense to be in video game culture, especially not, like, when you're actually, like, objectively reviewing the game. Um, so this first one um, was an article that was about this the new Jump Force game that came out. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's, like, the anime mm-hmm. fighting game. It looks amazing. So this was actually an opinion piece, and, like, you know, I get it. If Polygon, like, wants to have these opinion pieces on their page, like, that's totally fine. Like, it's it's their website, their company. Like, and it's not an objective review of the game. Yeah, so right. And it's if fine. they're advertising it as an opinion piece, then... Yeah, and, and it was you know it I mean? was in the opinion pages. So, like, that that's fine on this one. Uh, the article was just talking about, like, how there's only three female characters out of 40, right? So, like, you know, and the article went on to compare, like, make all of these comparisons in other fighting games that have recently come out. So they said, like, in Jump Force... There's seven and a half percent female fighters and Dragon Ball fighters. There's nine point four, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. You have thirteen point nine, and then Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. You have sixteen point four. Um, and I mean, I, I don't know if this this kind of analysis, like this this top down analysis, like this this actually kind of reminded me of what we talked about in the last podcast when like somebody's looking at something like from the outside and they're saying like, oh well, the CEO makes twenty million dollars and this guy makes sixty thousand. Like, look at the disparity. Uh, how can this be happening? Like, what is the reasoning for this? Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway to move on to the next one and we can we can talk about this you know lumped in with like all of these topics as a whole uh this one was like a little bit worse for me just because it was the apex legends review and this was written very very recently it was it, this was not an opinion piece um and and this is just one paragraph out of the rest of the review so it's not like he's just talking about this the whole time but you know he, he points to like that there's only eight characters and there's four people of keller and there's two LGBTQ characters, and he calls this, you know, a heartening first step in the industry. And then he also points to the character Bloodhound uh, as being the most prominent non-binary character in a mainstream shooter to date. I'm, like, not even actually sure what that even means. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> what the hell <laughs> what is, is going on? Guy? And keep, well, keep in mind, Bloodhound isn't the robot either. I would think, like, you'd probably point to the robot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here's my overall point on this, like, the opinion piece, the opinion piece is whatever. I think it's garbage, but like you can write whatever you want. Um, and like if you're yeah, it's if, it's if, an if opinion, you're right? people, write whatever you want. Yeah, I don't care. Like it's I, I have nothing to do with Polygon. Um, but like if, if you wanna if you wanna talk about this stuff, keep it out of, keep it out of your objective reviews. This has nothing to do with the game. This has nothing to do with the gameplay. Like this should not be a selling point for a game. Uh, it makes it makes no sense to me. Like I, I kind of just want this crap out. Stupid. I want it out. But uh, what what are you guys? What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, just generally. I have a- I have a couple points to make. So one would be, for me, like, video games are kind of like your escape from reality for a minute, you know? Like, you can go into your own, like, exactly. go into a, new, a different world that isn't, like, you know, like, your real life. It's like the shitty real one, yeah. Right. So, But then, like, I go into my game, and then there's, like, you know, then, like, there's political, like, stuff re- in regards to the current political climate and, like, all that shit. Like, I don't want that. I want to be right. in a different right. world. That's why I play them. Right. I, I want the to same escape. Exact- I want to escape same reality, thing. right? So that's my first beef. And then my second beef would be, like, I get it, LB- LGBTQ, whatever the fuck it is. That's fine. Like, if that's how, if that's what you got to do with your life, that's fine. Like, everybody can do what they want. I get it. I'm cool with that. It's just, it seems like when they do this stuff, they're catering to a very, very, very small population of people and making them, like, seem like a majority. Yes. Do you, do you agree with that? Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's agree. that I think is kind of it's just crazy to me that I, I, I agree a smaller with subsection of people is getting like treatment like they are the majority, yeah. which I mean, like I said, I don't like do your thing. Be happy. Do what makes you happy. But just you know what I mean? Like, just like don't ruin it for everybody. That's all I, think, have I think be, what yeah. like kind of makes me like more frustrated is, well, the fact that it's in the objective review, but it's like to make this like to write about this like this is like a problem in the industry or that this is like a main selling point for apex legends that like six of the characters are like very diverse out of the eight like obviously nobody like gives a shit because like it's the most popular game right now like by a landslide 
Yeah, only like, because I they have like, a I feel like if people prominent if, non-binary character. Right. Yeah. I, I so I don't stupid. Think you, I don't know. I just feel like if it were really like this big pervasive issue, like if like all of the people that play video games are like all these like sexist like you know piece of garbage people, like then they wouldn't be playing Apex Legends. But like I mean, we all love the game. Like everybody seems to love the game. I just don't know why it's pointed to as being like this like massive undertaking. It's like. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Let, let me, let, so I can tell you why all this is happening. Mm-hmm. Because all these journalists come from the arts and humanities, and they, they come from a point of view that um, they have a narrative, and they believe that it's true, and that they cannot be convinced otherwise with reason or with you know with facts. They, they have the narrative, and they're going to go with it, and they they don't – they want the narrative to be pushed. They want everybody to be indoctrinated into this idea, into this way of thinking. And they're implementing the, this – in their mind, they believe this. And it may not be their – you know, they may not even talk about it in their everyday, but it's – their their schooling is in direct correlation with their job. So they think that it once they move into the job atmosphere and they have that schooling, it's like – it's already part of their – you know, initiative. They're gonna they're gonna do that, and they want people to be indoctrinated into the same kind of thing. And it's kind of natural, if you really think about it. It's kind of natural. Like, you want people to think the same way as you want things. You don't want to force them to, but like, you know, that's why we try to convince people, you know, of things. <laughs> but that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to indoctrinate you into this idea that it should be equal between genders even in these wor- like what a good point dave even in these worlds that are made up that we're supposed to escape to that are made by these people who um it's their art and it's their interpretation of what the, and what of of what they're making here and we would need to get in that and change it it's like no you're you're stepping over the boundaries you're you're putting these people in a position where they fe- they feel compelled to have to change their stories and everything like that. It's not it's not fair, and it's just it's it's the worst thing I hate about I dislike about this is it's imposing. It's strictly imposing their view on other people, and it's not. It, it's kind of just like it, it, it's 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 displayed in this way that it's like it's just our perspective. No. Well, yeah, it is your perspective, but stop imposing on people. Yeah, it's very underhanded. I, yeah. I, Adam, what are your thoughts? Um, I feel like we, we probably said a lot of what you had to say, but well, no, I <laughs> actually, I a couple points here, like like Dave was saying, you want to escape, you know, and if I want to escape to a world, oh, I want to like, escape, all right. If I want to escape <laughs> to a world that's like ninety five percent men, you know, why why do they have an issue with that, right? You know, wouldn't they kind of like right. this kind of thing? But not as a as a jokingly thing, but the jump force <laughs> one in Dragon Ball. Fighters, like, how stupid do you have to be <laughs> that that kind of parallel? You, like, it's in the name, Jump. Jump, Shonen Jump. It's been around for, what, like 60 years? Yeah, Literally, Shonen is, Shonen Jump is specifically been targeted towards young men. Yes, years. Boys. Oh, absolutely. Teenage, yeah. and little kids. Do you think young men relate more to, you know, like, pretty females or, like, these, like, masculine men i mean there's yeah, just and, well, demographic and, and like what's, what's gonna it? sell yeah what's gonna sell more copies like they're making a game yeah. to make money too yeah it, it's it, just it's silly insanity like why do you do they realize where the source material is like when i see this and then i look back like yeah shonen jump like dragon ball z and one piece and bleach and all this and like no shit there's a bunch of male ah, characters ah, in ah, it ah. like yep that's the majority of the the source material is male characters. You're not just gonna like yep. force like shoehorn in a bunch of these like e- either a fake or b just like irrelevant characters into a game just to I, I don't know. Does this really make you feel better? To yeah, that that one that, that game? one game, which I mean, I think Shonen Jump is actually like a terrible game. So like yeah, so like you can have like a fifty fifty split in this like <laughs> off game. Yeah, right. But uh, oh sorry, Wolf, were you not done? No, no, it's it, it just mind-boggling like ben yeah. you were saying that they're really they really are they're trying to make <clears throat> you feel i don't know you're trying to make make us feel bad for for wanting to play a game with right. with male characters or a game that doesn't have a non-binary character and that bloodhound guy he, I, I don't know I, he's jamaican non-binary? dude he's a what's jamaican it? dude dude <laughs> like, no, no he's the, the guy he's like bro 
Yeah, he's the crow. He's like the tracker. Yeah. Oh, it sounds oh, yeah. like he has like a man's voice. I thought it was just some yeah. guy wearing a helmet. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Well, I actually, I That's actually like, what know. is the difference? You could just say he's non-binary. There's literally no difference. I, he could have been like, it could have been like Samus or something, you know? Like, you yeah. don't know who's under that mask. Yeah. I actually. It doesn't really matter. I, I thought of a really fun game to play here with you guys. Um, and I actually might laugh too. I don't know. I might not even be able to get through this, but I'm going to try my best. So like whenever <laughs> the journalist talked about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate being 16.4% female, I wanted just to name off a few characters and see what if you guys thought like where she categorized these. So like let's start off with the DLC character, the Piranha Plant. You think <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was categorized that was as a woman? No, what you say? I don't know. I'm, what do you think? What do you think she categorized? Wait, I need I need a list of these characters. I'll, I'll be able to tell you. Oh, uh, what was the piranha, piranha, piranha plant? Is definitely going to be male. You think male on the piranha plant? Okay, uh, how about how about no, the no, duck, no transgender transgender? How about the duck hunt duo, the bird and the dog from the old duck hunt game? <laughs> nah, uh, the dog has to be a dude. Heterosexual, both heterosexual uh, uh, males. Okay. Okay. It could be a. Are you gonna, are you gonna tell me dog? what they yeah. actually were categorized? No, I actually don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to speculate. Oh, okay. no. No, I, I figure like, like other people are doing really bad journalism with their opinions, so we can make oh, our oh. take on them. How about like these main three guys, like Yoshi, Pikachu, and Kirby? What do you What do you think they? Are? <laughs> Yoshi's definitely. A, I think Yoshi, Yoshi might actually be a girl. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff's a girl. No, dude. If you've seen in the newer generations of Pokemon, I mean they. You can have male and female just about oh, all of the Pokemon. Gosh. So this is a what was it? Yoshi, Jigglypuff, and who was the other one? <laughs> Pikachu. Pikachu. Pikachu is a dude, a little boy. Okay, <laughs> he's a little boy. <laughs> how about how about how about Rob? And when I say Rob, you probably don't know who I'm speaking about because this is the robot um, from like Wally. It even looks like oh. it's actually his name's not Rob. It's capital R period O period B period. Rob. Got to be a guy, huh? But anyway, I mean, um, Rob, right? Butch, uh, I Butch would go on, I would say non-binary for Rob, non-binary. Uh, really Butchy, I'd say. Yeah, I don't know. I, I obviously I mean, <laughs> it's really funny, but I just wanted to kind of point out like how like fucking ridiculous this is. It's silly. It's, it's, it's a game it's, for kids and like it's a bunch of these like character like King K rule like this crocodile like what I see see a male like Ridley the pterodactyl like come on, like give me a break. The like, goddamn animal. Real, 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 like, real, give, me, give me, give me, and everybody else in the world a break with this garbage, please. Really bad. It's horrible. Please. Real, oh. I just want to make one, one point though. The developers are going to continue to cater. They're going to continue to add um, uh, LGBT, and you know, not based off their story or based off, uh, you know, um, of the art that they're making. They're going to do it because they know that. It's not going to affect the people. People who are already here are going to play the games, and it might draw in people who are, mm-hmm. you yeah, know, that's a good point. Strict, strictly so narrow-minded and shallow, strictly because of that. It's yep. so it's really silly, and they'll keep doing it. You know, at least the big name ones will continue to do it. Like Apex I, Legends, do they even <clears throat> have backstories on these people? They're just like you just put into the right game, now. and you just. just Play. I can't I can't stand the characters. Um, Bloodhound <laughs> is probably mine because he's non-binary like me. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, he just doesn't accept the the he, male he female won't, thing. He won't be categorized. <laughs> no, like he's he's had enough. He's he been out there it. in the jungle. He realizes what. He like, well, don't say he. You know. Oh oh. Uh, you know. Yeah yeah. He, no, she, it's a he. it's a sure it's well, a. Anyway her. anyway let's let's her. let's close let's close this conversation off and mm-hmm. yep. I'll That's just close off with saying like I, I just real quick. Lo- closing statement. I think that everybody, I think all of us and pretty much everybody is fine with any characters, or any demographics being in any game, as long as it makes sense to the story and it doesn't feel forced. Yep. And as long as it's not written about, like it's like championing like something, it's a video game. Like yep. let the developers make what they want and let people enjoy them how they mm-hmm. want. 